Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between this iRobot Roomba J7 Plus Mop and the Shark AI Ultra 2-in-1 Mop Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So they're both able to mop your house and vacuum and they come back to the base station and then this has a vacuum in it that's going to suck everything out of the robot. This one, the Shark is bagless, whereas the Roomba does take a bag. For the Shark, you're simply just going to press this button, take this out, and then you empty it out. Now on the Shark, there are some uh, filters you do have to clean once in a while. They get pretty dirty. And there is a HIPAA filter on the side. Okay, so let's talk about these vacuum cleaners, then we're actually going to watch them work. So the J7 Plus, it has a mopping pad arm. So this arm is the mopping pad, and when, it, when you want it to mop, it's going to move this arm down underneath the robot, and then it does the mopping. And then that way, when it travels on carpet or something, it lifts the mop up. It can sense when there's carpet, and it'll stow the mop. Over here on the Shark, you have to install the mopping attachment. So it comes with two bins. This is the mopping attachment, and here's the bin that's when it's just vacuuming. This will do auto empty because of that little door in the back here. So you're going to put it on when you want it to just vacuum. These just slide in and click. When you got the mopping attachment installed, you do have to empty it yourself. So you're going to lift this up. See how it's gotten some crumbs in here and stuff. I have to manually go empty this out with when I have the mopping attachment on. When it has the auto empty, here's what the bottom of it looks like. When it has this on, it does the auto empty itself through the back here. It's got a single brush, side brush, and two drive wheels, and there's the roller. And this one, when it's not, when it doesn't have the mopping attachment on, this is how it store, uh, backs up. It'll back up like that, and this is how you'll find it charging, and it'll auto empty the bin. Back over to the mopping. You're going to put the, the water and solution in right here. There is a pad that you can take off. You can put this in the washing machine. This thing does leak when it's just sitting here, because it water does come out these little holes right here. Now when it's mopping, it is able to move this and give it some vibration to help it uh, scrub the floor. Now the nice thing about the, the Roomba is you're never, you don't have to change out like a, a box or anything. Once in a while you do have to take this off. It's just on with Velcro and it slides on and off. So you have to manually clean this yourself, put it in the washing machine. When you're done, just slide it back in its track and you're ready to go. Here's the dust bin that auto empties all the time. And this is where you put the solution. So you're gonna put the water and solution right there. There's the dust bin. So as this thing vacuums, whenever it comes back, it's gonna suck everything out because that little door is gonna open up and it sucks everything out right through there. Here's the bottom of the Roomba. It does have the dual uh, brush rollers, drive wheels, and a single brush. Okay, so both of them will map your house. Uh, the Shark has LiDAR navigation on top. The Roomba has some different technology it uses, but it can also does a really good job of mapping your house. You can put no-go zones, no mop zones, and if it finds an obstacle, it will take a picture of it, and you can review it and add another no-go zone there. On the Roomba, we can do different. We can do vacuum and mop, or just um, mo uh, cleaning only, or vacuuming only. Different liquids amounts. We can do smart scrub where it goes back and forth and the number of cleaning passes. Now on the Shark, since I don't have the uh, mopping attachment on, it doesn't show the mopping where I can do mopping. Once you install that different uh, container, you, you can do the mopping and vacuuming. Now with the Shark, we can do a matrix clean, which it does a really thorough, more thorough job of cleaning that room. Or we can just do a clean. You can set the level of the vacuum. Okay, so both of them are going to undock, and then they're going to start cleaning. Both of them are going to go around and do the edges first, and then they're going to go back and forth in the middle of your room. But they want to do all the edges first. Now, the shark has a little, see how that clean edge? That's a little puff of air that it tries to blow stuff around the front so it can suck it up. And again, here's the Roomba. And again, it's got a camera on the front. If it senses an obstacle, it will take a picture of it. So the shark's doing a good job of cleaning. It's gonna go back and forth now. It's very methodical. Here comes the Roomba. Okay, so the Roomba is converting to a mop now. 
So that little arm came down and now it's gonna mop and vacuum at the same time. And that's that smart wash where it goes back and forth and it uses the robot to do, to do the cleaning action. And then here's the Roomba going back and forth using that scrubbing action. And here's the shark. I think they both do a good job of vacuuming carpet and hardwood floors. I just like being able with the Roomba that you don't have to put another attachment on. With the shark, I gotta put the mopping attachment on when I wanted to do mopping. Okay, so the shark is all done. It's gonna go back to its base unit, it's gonna dock itself, and then it's gonna auto empty. So there's everything going into the container on the shark. And here's the Roomba. It does a good job of vacuuming. Okay. So the J7 is all done. It stores its mop. And now it's gonna go back to the dock and auto empty. And here it is auto docking. And now it's gonna turn on. It is quite a bit louder. Yeah, the auto empty is pretty loud on the Roomba where the shark was relatively quiet and it is bagless, whereas the Roomba, you do have to replace the bag once in a while. Okay, so the Roomba is retailing for about $800 right now. The shark two and one, 430. So it is about half the price. Uh, if you don't mind putting on the mop attachment, taking that on and off, the shark actually does a pretty good job. It actually puts a little bit more solution down than the Roomba. The Roomba can kind of struggle with putting solution down sometimes, but as long as you keep the mop pad clean and changed, it does a lot better job. There's a lot more setup with the Shark. So the Roomba will auto sense carpet and it shows you on the map, okay, that's linoleum, that's carpet. And it will automatically raise the mop pad when, you get, when it gets to carpet and then lower it. The Shark, you have to go in and do a verifying run you have to tell it on the map, this is linoleum, this is carpet. Then you have to do a really, I call it kind of a complicated verifying run. It takes a while, you gotta watch it go around the entire perimeter of what it thinks the carpet is, and you have to verify it. And if it's not right, you gotta move it. The map just seems a little bit more accurate on the Roomba. Now the Shark, these are excellent vacuum cleaners. I think they just took, they have an excellent one that's just vacuum. Uh, and I think they just put a mopping attachment on it and kind of did some things to the app to use it because that's it looks like their original vacuum, the AI Ultra and like the Matrix. Those are really good vacuums, but this mopping one, it does a good job. It's just a lot more work on your part. So I love on the Roomba that it go down here and it says this is what it did and it'll it'll take pictures. No obstacles, but if it found an obstacle, you could review it and it'll take a picture of the actual obstacle. Here's where it shows you it mopped and it vacuumed. Shark, you know, I think their app just needs updated a little bit. It looks kind of long in the tooth, in my opinion. There's where it did the cleaning. You know, the Shark is about half price, so if you don't mind doing a little bit more work and doing a really complicated verifying run, it is the way to go, but the Roomba is just a lot easier to use. Look for me on Instagram. I, I do free giveaways on my Instagram, just to add videos there and my Facebook group page. So when I'm done with these products, I do end up giving them away for free. I bought both of these with my own money. 
I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, I've got a lot more videos coming. I'm going to be carrying, comparing the Dream, the Roborock, all kinds of things. I've got lots more comparisons coming. I got the Roborock Q5, Shark Detect Pro, Eureka. That's the Roomba J7. Roborock, the i5. Got the new Kenmore car, uh, car, or, uh, floor cleaner, the J5. Lots of tentacles here for comparisons. And I'm really starting to like these bigger ones here that have the, that clean the mops, you know, and just, these are really nice. The Q Revo, the Dream L10S, that's the S8 Ultra. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more comparisons of all my vacuum cleaners that I'm doing. Thanks everybody for watching.